just copy this again i'm going to add one more uh, response just print here open a dot result value dot choices that's it so the we we get the only um, choices information here so this information let it be there so we restart the bot again open web chat restart the conversation again hello get connected the second output here you can see we display only the choices so choice information related we are displaying here so text information open a something like this and the second output also fine anyway this is not required anymore i just disable this one like this or you want to display the particular uh, text information you want to display the particular text information even more simple here go to here choice index so here i have to pass 0 0 to index i want print to only the text that's it here you can just confirm it text yeah so reset bot again this time we'll get only the answer for what is an open ea then we get print the uh, particular uh, results open web chat restart the conversation same send hello so we get the final result about the first prompt if you want to display the second prompt you can change the choice index 1 and display the results that's it okay here we hard code the prompt so in general it should be dynamically so that also will change it here go to property this what is an open ai what is an microsoft i just remove this one directly pass the user request to the prompt so dollar sign close this and turn dot activity dot text that's it registered bot open web chat register the conversation welcome to your bot this time i send question what is an office so you is a request sent to prompt then prompt connect to open ai get the result visit an office visit this type of some output we get it so we don't want to print this one sorry i did not get that. just disable step how to configure open ai parameters so still now we pass only the prompts we cannot we did not pass the parameters for that i used the completion option class to configure the parameters so this class contain the lot of properties related to azure open ai parameters the stop sequence temperature token selection max tokens there are lot of properties available this property also you can configure in our composer so go to composer back here we are 
creating our property dialog prompt we just assign only the prompt the property we so far we assign only the prompts the next step we configure all the properties again the properties format also json only so I just copy paste all my property information That's it. Maybe I show the structure here. This is a structure of our JSON. The first parameter prompt, the remaining parameter based on the completion option properties, generation, sample count to temperature, user. You can configure like this. If you want to configure dynamically, you can assign to one of the property and the property you have to pass like this prompt if you want to assign the temperature dynamically you have to assign one property you used like this then change the temperature value dynamically that's it so it should work what happen if you not provide the prompt so the remaining parameter is option parameter if you provide or not it will work in case if not provided the prompt you get the error message we'll see that also so here I just remove the prompt so I did not provide the prompt restart bot again this time I sent only the optional parameters or optional properties we sent it we did not provide the prompt so we get the error message open web chat restart conversation what is an what is an apple I did one mistake because I'm just displaying the, directly the result set. So I, ha I have to enable this one. Enable and disable this one. Uh, Richard bought Erin. Open web chat. Uh, Richard conversation. What is an apple? Same question. This time we get the error message. As I mentioned earlier, is success property false? There is no result null. The third property, error property. This error property, you can see the error message. Like prompt configuration JSON is some error information we get it. So this is just beginning of using the Azure Open SDK in Bot Composer. In later videos, I will add more APS. We'll see one by one. Thank you.